I've seen many editors that they apply basic 3D effect on their screenshots and stick with it for eternity. But in this video, I'm gonna break this curse and teach you some insane crazy ideas to animate your screenshots you have never imagined. So without downloading the video, let's get started. All right, so this is an Instagram profile page and I'm gonna show you how you can transform this into an attractive animation with step-by-step. If it looks cool to you, then just watch this video till the very end and you will be able to do the same as this. It's my promise to you. And after that, you will become worthy to animate anything inside After Effects. So let's drag this into our composition. And the first thing which we are gonna do is separate some elements from the screenshot so that we can animate it later. So we will grab the ellipse tool and create a circle holding shift like this. If you haven't got it in the first time, then don't worry, we will remove the black background later. Now take you time and separate all the elements which you want to animate. I'm masking all the elements and changing its mask to none so that I can see the elements. Next, we will separate the photos from the screenshots. So let's grab the pen tool and make a point on each corner of the photo to create a perfect mask. Now we will duplicate the mask and align it for each photos in your screenshots. So use this method to separate the elements from the screenshots. The more elements you will separate, the more things you can animate. And then duplicate your layers, same as the number of mask you have created. But before duplicating the layer, we will disable all the mask and enable one mask at a time. This will help us to animate each things individually. Okay, so now when our layers are separated, the elements from the screenshots, there's endless ways to animate. To make it simple, I'm just using position property, but just imagine what you can do now with all the properties. Okay, I don't know about you, but let me show you how to get started. So on this photo layer, I'm gonna use position property to create a keyframes and move this keyframes 10 to 20 frames ahead in the timeline and then dragged it towards the bottom of my layer. Now you can easy ease the keyframes, but here I'm using flow plugin to try some variations. Okay, so don't get confused here that where's these keyframes came from. I've just separated the dimensions so that we can copy and paste them on the remaining two photos. I hope you will figure out why later. Now you got the point what you have to do. So just like that, I will animate other layers too. And now we got this. But I believe we can make it even more interesting because I've watched this animation from a Imangaji's video and wondered how they would have created this counting number animation. So I dug up some tutorials on YouTube. What happened, don't get shocked. I also watched tutorials. In fact, I watched tutorials to make tutorials for you. So I was saying, let's try to create this counting number animation. All right, unique videos, there's a link in the description by which you can download some presets to create this kind of counting number animation with using expressions. So if you hate expression, then go ahead and download it then and install them in your After Effects. And if you don't know how to install presets in After Effects, then take a glass of water and pour it on your system. All right, so we wasted a lot of time, so let's focus now. First, we will draw a shape to hide the contents in the screenshot, and then we will change its fill to the same color as the background so that nobody know it's a shape layer and then we will type any text and align it according to these texts. Now I will change its font to Roboto. And if you don't know what font you have to match the screenshot, then just use what the font website and you will be good to go. So I will add guides to match it perfectly. And just like this, our text is now positioned correctly. Next up, we will open the effects and control. And here you can see AE counter preset. And underneath here, you will find plenty of presets. So make sure to try one of them out. There are many presets for each scenario, but the one I'm gonna be using this preset for this tutorial, but you can explore all of them. There are divided into folders for different purposes. But the one which I'm gonna be using is this basic counter preset. But before using this, we will duplicate our text layer. And the reason for duplicating the text is to add million symbol on the other text layer. So to animate this, I will reveal the keyframes and change its values on both keyframes. Next, I will apply deep glow and adjust its intensity so that we don't destroy our eyes. Now you can see our text is animated, which looks so cool. Now let's see how we can make it even more better. So first, I will create another shape layer to hide this subscribe to my YouTube channel text and then create a new text and align its scale and position to match the original one and then I will simply apply typewriter preset and adjust its keyframes. Now I will create a two node camera and make all the layers 3D so that camera recognize them. I'm working on a tutorial on camera. So if you struggle to create smooth camera movement, then don't forget to press the bell icon. The video is on the way. All right, so while using the orbit tool, I've positioned my camera like this and then again, slightly move the camera to create a camera flyover animation. Now last but not the least, we will open the camera options and activate the depth of field and then create some keyframes for the focal length and aperture. It's really easy to do, but if you find it difficult, then please watch my camera video. It will benefit you a lot. 
And in the end, we will create an adjustment layer and apply CC Vignette and create an adjustment layer again. And apply CC Force Motion Blur. And this is how you created an awesome animation from a dead screenshot. Now let me show you how you can create this amazing depth of field and also change the focal length to reveal the contents with time. So first of all, I will create a new composition and drag this image into this comp and then just create a camera and parent it to a new null object for a better understanding. Now we will make our image 3D so that it can interact with our camera. To get this tilt effect, you have to press R and it will bring rotation properties and don't touch the orientation option. Instead, use the X and Y rotation. Otherwise, you will start moving in fourth dimension and wonder why it's not moving according to my will. You here's a problems that we have created empty space which looks unprecedented. So to fix this, we are going to be using CC Repetile and start increase everything until it fills out spaces. And you can choose various tiling options from this drop down menu. Now it's time to add some blur. So we will open camera options and search for depth of field and activate it. Now if you increase the aperture, then you will notice a highlighting effect. Now add some keyframes for focal length and aperture, and then go to a point where you want to end this animation. I'm gonna do it for just 5 seconds, so I will move to exact 5 seconds and change the focal length until I clearly see things without glasses. And if you add some keyframes to animate the aperture, then it will look more awesome. To make things easy, I've created a template for exclusively for the channel members who support me to create awesome content for you. So you just have to place your screenshot and come in the render comp. And here you can see a control layer and you can adjust your blur amount. You just have to select the null layer and press U, then you can adjust these keyframes to animate your screenshot as you like. So please check out the perks if you have some time. Next up, we will see how we can present screenshot on an A-roll layer. So first we will create a black solid layer and then add some keyframes for the opacity to create a smooth fade in. And this will create an anticipation that something is about to appear. Now it's time to reveal the screenshot. There are infinite ways to do this, but I'm gonna discuss some of the best ones. First of all, we need some ink mats or brush mats, and then import it in After Effects. And the first check out for the track mat button if can't see it. Then maybe you are in blindly love with After Effects. Just press F4 and you will be fine. Now just stretch this Pickwick and release on the brush mat layer. But after all this effort, it's not working. So to fix this, we will click this button one more time to change it to Luma Mat. Just remember, the Luma Mat only reveals the white pixels of the video or footage. And if you see the brush mat, then you can see the white pixels are the ones which are revealed first in the animation. If you want me to create a dedicated video on track mat, then just let me know. So this was the first method to reveal the screenshot, but let's see how to make this page flying effects. So to achieve this, we will find double C page turn effect and apply on the screenshot now. If you drag this handle, then you can see it's acting like a page flying in space. So we will animate this property and just play with it to create some insane results. And one more thing, if you replace the background with the animated paper texture background, then you can create some news headlines animation. Now the last but not the least is this zoom effect. To create this, we will simply apply optics compensation and hit these two buttons without using our brain. Now if you increase the field of view, something starts to happen, which is really cool. So we will animate it to get that look. There are many ways to reveal the message, so use your creativity to come up something exciting. And this was it for today. If you find this video helpful, then give it a like. And if you want to edit short form videos like a pro, then watch this video.